Next, let us look at uh, the lid clamp or entropion clamp they are saying. So, basically you want to fix the lid, isn't it? So, just see how it looks. It has some D-shaped something. Can you see? There is a D-shaped kind of a plate here and above it, there is some, what do you see? U-shaped rim. Okay, that makes sense. A D-shaped plate opposed by a U-shaped rim. So, what is this? This is a lid clamp. Lid clamp. Okay. You can tighten it with the screw. I think you have two types of clamps here. One they are saying that you can use for right upper or the left lower and the other for right lower or the left upper. Isn't it? This is what it seems to be like. That's what it looks like guys. Okay. Then they are telling the plate is kept towards conjunctiva, conjunctiva guys. Remember here, this plate is towards the conjunctiva in this case. Okay. Otherwise in Chalazion uh, clamp and all, you can see the uh, open side is on the Chalazion because you want to pierce it and cut it and all that. But here in the lid clamp, you can see what they are seeing here is um, the plate is towards the conjunctiva. The plate, the D-shaped plate is towards the conjunctiva. The closed one is towards the conjunctiva. And uh, the U-shaped rim is actually on the skin side. Let's see if this makes any sense to us. U-shaped on the skin side. That's what it looks like here, isn't it? It's not very clear though. Okay. Then, the handle is always situated on the temporal side. That's what they seem to be doing here, right? The handle seems to be on the temporal side. See, basically, what is the advantage of a lid spatula, they are saying. So, they are comparing it with a lid spatula. This you can, uh, it is self-retaining, right? It has a screw and all that. You don't need anybody to hold it. Uh, what are the disadvantages? Operative field is less. Pressure necrosis can occur if you fit it tightly. Then what else? Where and all you use it in all the lid surgeries, guys. Mention entropion, ectropion, correction, etc. So, basically, its job is to protect the eyeball, support the lid tissue and provides hemostasis during surgery. So, these are its jobs. So, it better do its jobs. But don't put it tightly. It can cross. It can cause pressure necrosis. So, you have understood lid clamp or entropion clamp. The name itself says that. Okay.